So we talked about this Wall Street Journal story on uh, the Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein getting set to get out by the end of the year at Goldman. He's been there 36 years, CEO since 2006. Six. So with that, to our bitter boomers on that and more, Liz McDonald, Charlie Brady, Charlie Gasparito, and Leib Capital's CEO Steve Leib. I said it, I would fill in for Neil all week long. The only this is the caveat. This is the only thing. <laughs> or condition. Uh, caveat. Not caveat. This is a condition. Right. A I told <laughs> Ralph I had to be able to do the and preside like, over bitter. Caveat burgers. would be like I'll do it uh, as long as I don't have to <laughs> hang out with those old lunatics. I want to get Brady to start and get a word in <laughs> because <laughs> you don't want to talk about Lloyd Blankfein. Well, well you, once you, once you start, you'll be on for an hour and a half. The uh, the stock price under Mr. Blankfein. Somehow that's sometimes that's how we measure CEOs. Yeah, I mean, it's up eighty four percent. Uh, since he took over in June of 2006. Right. Um, Much? Is it 84. Total, total return, if you include dividends, 112% total return. And that compares to that the... Compare, well, it's just like a 15% return for the financial sector. I mean, it shows you how he shepherded the stock. Well, the remember what the happened. Crisis. I, I, well, right. I guess, this, here's what I would say. Just, just let's back the up. The floor is yours. Um, about two months ago, I reported that he was thinking about announcing his so retirement. So you had the scoop, Charlie. Yeah. Always. But, but I never thought it was that big a deal because... Everybody knows that this was the year that he might go. Now, why might he go? Uh, Goldman Sachs, and, and particularly after, I would say, 2013, has been underperforming the financial sector, way underperforming. There is real questions about its business model. He never adapted the business model to the, to the sort of anti-risk uh, Dodd-Frank framework that, say, Morgan Stanley did. All right. And what happened with, with, with Lloyd is that uh, he survived a health issue. Uh, it's cancer, and, uh, and thank God that it's great. He's, he's much better from what I understand. It's, it's completely in remission. But what the problem he's had with his board is that they are questioning his ability to shepherd Goldman Sachs mm -hmm. in the f to the future. Goldman Sachs did very well after the financial crisis for a major reason. They were bailed out by AIG right. by, because mm -hmm. of the AIG bailed out. Well, bailed Buffett out. They too. Were bailed, they got some money from Buffett. They were essentially the only game standing who could sit there and trade treasuries and mortgage-backed securities right. as the Fed is, was basically inflating its balance sheet with those. With those oh, right. And right. that's how they, their stock took up. By the way, the first quarter of, after the financial crisis, Goldman Sachs made $4 billion dollars. Like a record. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> so he benefited well, from that. He benefited from that government largesse. Yeah. But yeah. lately, the last few years, he hasn't. And I think what, what you're seeing now is Goldman saying, we need a change in business model. We don't think Lloyd is, is the guy. Right. Now, the real question, does Gary Cohn come back? Well, that's the no, fantasy that Gary so. Cohn comes back. The journal says it'll be one of the two co-presidents. There's a Harvey Schwartz, well, David Sullivan, but you not, know, not, not David Cohn, Steve. <laughs> uh, David Cohn. David Cohn, the former <laughs> Mets <laughs> pitcher. <laughs> 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 really no, he was okay. That's that exciting. <laughs> We're hearing Sid Fernandez is a possibility. No, not Gary Cohn. <laughs> no, I mean, but the interesting thing, just following up on what you're saying, Charlie, is that he did terrible in a market that had no volatility. Yes. Now he's Absolutely. getting out when there's probably volatility coming back. Well, you know, uh -huh. he's, and here's the I thing. I mean, that's and, the and contrary see, that, That's a great point, because I think <laughs> the so next, exciting. here's what I'm going to say. The next quarter for Goldman Sachs, <laughs> a lot piece. of people are saying, is going to be very good because of the volatility. And, you know, if you're uh. looking to trade the stock, you know, people are predicting that Goldman's trading desk is going to do amazing. Great, would you because they Lee? always hire the brightest. Charlie, I mean, would you give Lee a hand with his earpiece? It's about, it's about <laughs> half out of his ear, for example. Would you Sorry. give me a hand, sweetheart? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love together. this guy. We're no. oh. together, these My two. brother from hey, another. Uh, <laughs> bring up the markets for a second. We're up 335 on the Dow Wait. right now. So, um... EMAC. I guess we were talking about this earlier, whether the question is, huge story of the week is the jobs report that we got this morning or all this talk about tariffs that might upset the economy down the road. Which one do you take? I think the market's going to do what it's going to do. I mean, just watching it this morning, watching the action on the Dow, uh, I, I, the big whopper was what were the tariffs going to be? It yeah. was fill in the blanks for a few days. We still don't really know. Uh, I think it's going to pick and choose his fights where he wants them. Where can we get our steel su supply from other countries? Will it be as bad as people thought? Right. Uh, it was sort of, you know, ready, uh, fire, aim kind of uh, thinking. <laughs> 
from the White House. And so, you know, I, I think I, I think people now are saying, look, he's going to be flexible. Well, this market uh, may though, not have an impact. Or this jobs well, report, Charlie, is about perfect, right? If you're investing in the stock market. Yeah, you've got strong job growth and you had wage inflation pulling back yeah. uh, from a, from a multi-year high. I mean, that's the best of both worlds. That's why the 10-year yield Gary didn't Cohn will come back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you look at it, he kind of backed, listen, in rhetoric, I mean, who knows? But it looks like he backed away from a lot of the, the worst things about the, the tariffs that he was initially threatening. Um, you know, maybe this is an environment that a Gary Conk about, or maybe this is an environment now that he's less protectionist. Who knows? Because Trump, I don't think, knows. You know, who knows what's well, going I mean, on in his mind. There's so many they, things they, we they, can maybe, worry about. Too. Maybe this is, what's that? There's so many things we can worry about. I don't even know if we can get into whether Gary Cohn will be back. No, 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 I don't mean that. I'm yeah. using that yeah. as, a, as, a, as a segue into saying, Maybe he's less protectionist on, on trade. Oh, Trump is. Uh, yeah, oh, I, that means, like, I, I was you. just throwing that out there. I but maybe a, a, Larry, a Larry Kudlow, who right. would be a very decent supply side. Phil sider. Graham. Mm -hmm. um, you know, well, the market the would rather well, seeing that than a Peter that. Navarro, obviously. I mean, Navarro like would be a catastrophe. And, and, How about and, Sebastian Gorka? What do you think of him? <laughs> yeah, he'd be Mark great. So <laughs> I mean, <laughs> have a crypto Nazi no, right? there. I mean, yeah. you know. It's a huge sell-off. Yeah, if Navarro was named as the replacement, Charlie says. I think they should get Sebastian Gorka. Just be a go full-on <laughs> insanity. <laughs> yeah, just total insanity. I mean, Navarro is a Democrat. You know, we need You know, he basically needs a Gary Cohn's a Democrat. I know, but but so is Navarro. Navarro I didn't believe Navarro. But he's a right. Democrat. You know, we, need, we need a millennial in there. Don't you, <laughs> you think do, we need maybe to... anyone be better than uh, can, I just, can I just ask Ralph a question? Did didn't <laughs> Gary Cohn walk out the door with uh, $250 million plus in yes. compensation? Well, I think it was like... $287 million. I hope you, so. You don't like he was there for 20 years. I'm not saying years. that. I'm saying he do whatever he wants. <laughs> well, that was the whole thing. Gary Cohn really didn't want to leave. I mean, he's rich enough to hang, but Trump right. put the bullet gun to his head. He said, listen, pal. Uh, support my tariffs or not. I'm I end uh, support. He bitter said, boomers today I can't do it. with one final question. Um, North Korea, good good idea, bad idea? I think, think it's probably a bad idea. I mean, you know, Trump is not a seasoned negotiator, and he's meeting with one of you the most... You have a red heart of the deal. Yeah. So <laughs> no, this is I mean, one of those, what could possibly on the go wrong? Stage, and, you know, you have to know, believe that they... as far as tariffs go, North Korea, the elephant in the room, the one pulling the strings is China. And China, if they want China! to, they can cripple our defense. They really can. We need their rare earths. We need their cobalt. We need their graphite. There are a million critical materials that we can only so get from. Bad. How do you say Wait it? Wait a minute. China. China! China! We knew that was coming. <laughs> words like, escape me. Ali Oop Talib. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> good idea or bad word, idea? Uh, words escape me right now. Uh, really? Come on. Sorry, on, right. the, on the meeting, good idea or bad idea? Would I you mean, do it if you were Trump? Everybody's quoting Churchill, jaw to jaw is better than war. Uh, you know, I think it's fine. I, uh, you know, huh. I don't uh, I don't place a lot of stock that Trump's going to go in there, you know, Give and make mistakes. Yeah. Uh, I think he, he's going to go in with uh, diplomats. No, and, he will. But Lucy, right. look at the first out. meeting with Xi. Basically, I mean, he... That was a disaster? It was really? a total Jeez. disaster. Why? Because he just gave in to him. I mean, if we How? want to go after him, he he's said going after nothing. Him now with tariffs. He said yeah. no, no currency manipulation. He's not going after him with tariffs. I don't think really? he will. Really? Why? Because he's, he's, not, and he's also going to go after him. Well, How about you know what, Stephen? Steve, 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 I think he will. Wait, he, Trump, he goes after China on intellectual property, big time. That's he can. Cyber but cyber listen, cyber what too. happens if yeah. China Is says no more rare earths, no more cobalt? Then what happens to our electric power so industry? I think China is going to shut everything down and stop um, doing for, business. First of all, China is much less dependent on the U.S. today than it was five years ago. Yeah, right well, now, true. they're focused yeah, on the east, yeah. and they're taking control. I, they will be starting I this just, month trading oil okay. in Isn't it going to be great, though, when you see Trump and, and, and what's his name's she? hair? She, no, no, Trump. Oh, and yeah, Trump. Korean guy's yeah, hair. Uh, who has better hair? Do you oh, think? that is a toss-up. I okay, think right. I have to say, at least the Korean guy is true <laughs> to himself. Don't. I don't know if Trump yeah, is. Trump, Trump that's fake rumors, hair. Right. Trump, right? You know what's amazing about Could today? Be, yeah. Today's Friday. Do you wear that? Yeah, and it's yes. a bit of rumors. It's latest Friday, episode. Friday yes. during lunch. Jobs Friday and yeah. Friday during it's lunch. It's also Meatball Day. Can you imagine on a that's Monday? You took my question away. I said I was going to ask Gasparino that. I said I could not. I said the one thing that's been bothering me all day long. Maybe this is only a Catholic thing. But it's a Friday during Lent, right. and today is National Meatball Day. Why? Do you know about that? Why is that? By the way, by the way this is a, the Cardinal. Maybe we can get a This is a highly <laughs> offensive, stereotype question. <laughs>
an anti-Italian question, and Why? I'm, I'm reporting you. How I'm could it be anti to the, to, 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 I'm reporting to HR for picking on me because I'm Italian. Wait till St. Patrick's Day. We're going to be hearing from meatballs, meatballs, you. Charlie, right. um, on National Meatball Day, you ask a meatball a well, question. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. And the market's still up, 3.30. Congratulations, Steve. All right, uh, thanks to all of you.